our uh, our farm consists of me and my dad. My dad's name is Kim Kim Storms, and we farm about 800 acres here in Rowan County. And the main crops are corn, soybeans, and wheat. We also have a uh, poultry operation and beef cattle. Raise hay uh, for the cows too, and uh, raise pullets for uh, Pilgrim's Pride. For uh, for corn. Um, before we plant corn, we have our, um, our local southern states that come out and uh, GPS soil sample all of, our, uh, all of our land. And we variable rate apply all our lime, all our phosphorus, all our uh, potash. And uh, we also, um, after we get all that back and get all that spread and get everything corrected, we, um, all, we put down a 11370 liquid fertilizer at around eight to 10 gallons an acre for uh, just a strictly a starter uh, fertilizer uh, for the corn. And uh, between what nitrogen we apply with our uh, burn down and our herbicides, we try to, and including soybean carryover, um, the residual nitrogen for them, we try to shoot for around 150 to 170 units of nitrogen um, total for a corn crop. Our uh, wheat, our wheat crop, we try to shoot for, uh, at pre-plant, we put down about 40 units of nitrogen, about 80 units of P, 80 units of K, and then um, come back and top dress wheat with um, for a total of around 100, 110 units of nitrogen, depending on the carryover from that. And then all our soybeans is fertilized uh, pre-plant with, well, actually with the wheat, so we put that out then. We've actually been uh, no-till planting uh, double crop, crop soybeans and corn for around 30 years or so. Uh, we actually went 100% no-till in 1999. And ever since then, we've noticed that our, our residue um, organic matter levels have increased. Um, we've just recently started trying to uh, examine that a little bit more and trying to keep a better check on that, make sure it is building up. but. Um, our soil, we have developed a lot more soil structure since we started no-tilling. Uh, our earthworm population has increased um, a lot. You can dig out here in this field now and you know, earthworms are everywhere we, and we didn't used to see anything like that. And uh, not only that, but we've also saved, made some equipment changes. We're not uh, putting nowhere near the hours on tractors that we used to. We're not wearing out tillage equipment. and. Um, the main piece of equipment that we have that goes across our field anymore is a sprayer. <laughs> and probably the biggest benefit we've seen from no-till is just keeping a, uh, a residue cover on the ground. Because in our area, most of the time, whenever we're needing uh, water, especially for our corn and soybean crops, we usually are hot and dry. And usually our crops suffer from lack of water. So any, anything we can do to keep a residue cover on the ground and hold the moisture in, that's probably one of the biggest benefits to us is just being able to um, hold the water there till we till we need it but um, other than other than the uh, GPS technology that's come along in the past 10 or so years I'd say no-till has probably been the biggest thing that has uh, has helped our farm has definitely helped increase yields and uh, reduce equipment usage uh, wear and tear on equipment it's allowed us to farm more land we wouldn't be able to farm what we're farming now with the size of equipment we have and without no more manpower than what we have if it wasn't for no-till